Kai once again. We are continuing with our topic, gastroenteritis. We are going to see part two. Gastroenteritis, we remember, it is involving the stomach and the intestine, gastro and intestines. Then it will be vomiting and diarrhea. Now we are going to see the causes. What are the causes of gastroenteritis? Now, if you are eating, you see flies food uh, coming and landing on your food. It means the gastroenteritis is more likely to come very soon. You have your bread. We know the flies go to the dirtiest places. And as they come on their feet, their feet has something like a sponge. The sponge which will go and collect all the dirty worms and all the bacteria. Then they come, they land on the food, they leave them there. As you eat them, it will cause a problem. You see this little child, the flies are coming, they are landing on the mouth, on the face. It becomes worse, worse if the child has what you call malnutrition. We study malnutrition as well and the signs of it. We discuss about it. But now, if the flies come with those parasites and bacteria and viruses and they fall on the food that the child is eating and it will be worse, particularly when there is malnutrition. Let's see what's happening for a child who is passing stool anyway. So the child was in the bush, sent by, by the mother, just to go and uh, pass a stool anywhere in the bush, no toilet usage. Hmm? You can see the flies hmm? and the place where they stay is not far. It's not only that, when you drop the rubbish anywhere, the rubbish are thrown anyway, dumping. Hmm? There is no proper handling of rubbish. And the result, if the rubbish are decomposing, what will happen? The flies will come. You can see the flies are all over. They are flying. And uh, the, it's becoming a dumping site. And in the proximity, there are houses where people stay so there is no doubt as people stay next to the dumping area uh, inf infections getting worms getting uh, the, the, the diseases gastroenteritis is assured when hygiene is not up to standard not only that you can see <laughs> in another site where the rubbish are thrown and flies it's a lot the flies it's a lot as if it's like a bees hmm? it's a lot to the point where they put rubbish even in the road then the cars have to run away passing by so that they can find the space because the dumping is like you see the flies is too much like they it's like a bees flying this is very risky. Unfortunately, the community, people don't know the impact of this. People are not aware. Who has the responsibility to let people know about this? People who are educated who know this, should we keep knowledge by ourselves? I don't think so. We need to approach the community and let them know the negative impact of dumping everywhere why am i saying that if you can see where the dumping site and what it does we saw the flies that were um, everywhere flying as if it's bees now they will lay eggs in the rubbish hmm? which is busy decomposing all these are maggots. You can see the maggots. They are multiplying on a very high speed. 
The maggots are going to become flies very soon. It won't take long. And as they come from this spot, in this, this place, now they will fly and fall on that bread that we saw. Mm? And the child will eat it. Not only that, when the rain comes, the rain will take some of the rubbish, all the dirty inside, all the stools that the children do pass on the streets, on the roads, in the bush, then the victim will come and drink this water. It is unfortunate that many African countries still have a lifestyle like this one, where people are still drinking um, water from the lakes, hmm? water which is not clean. There is no clean water. Dear leaders, Whoever you might uh, uh, see this video, whoever in whichever office you might be in, don't you think you can do something about this? Whatever position you were given, can't we do something about this? This is very sad. It's very sad. Brothers and sisters, Let's continue. Let's not give up. Health education, health promotion. Let it be our song and let it sing it together. Let us sing the song of health education, health promotion together. We we'll put all the information on the website and uh, communication and discussion, dialogue, yeah, information. Please, you may send an email, then we uh, we see if we can move forward. Thank you so much.